Hello, students. Good evening. Hello, good evening. How are you? Good evening. Thank hello, you. hello. Hello, everybody. It's a pleasure to see you once again in your classes. I know that it has been a very, very long day, but for sure, it is time for us to learn, right? We are going to be working today in many different things, and I hope you have a very good class. So tell me, how was your day today? How was your day? Was it good, bad, so-so? What did you do? What did you do on your day? Uh, what's good? Uh, many. Sorry, a, a lot of work, 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 work. It was a lot of work, yeah. I, yeah, in some cases, when we think that we have finished everything, there's something extra to do. And then you say like, no, 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 I finish. And then something extra to do and it's on and on and on. And on. Yeah, right, that's yeah. true. It's, it's like that, it's like that. When you think that you have finished and you say like, ya, terminé, se acabó. It's like, look, but we need this. And it's like, oh, come on, another thing. And another thing comes. Well, I know, Mr. Julio, that it's complicated, right? It's complicated. Hello, Catherine. Hello, Marlon. Heidi. Miss Anna, how are you? Hello. Good evening. Good evening. How was your day, Mr. Marlon? Well, it has been a very stressful. It has been very stressful. Why? Yes, because in the, how do you say, empresa? In the, well, in the enterprise. In the enterprise, it, it has a new system. Ah, yeah, <laughs> you told me the other day. It's true. It, and, it was and, a, a chaos, a complete chaos. Oh my goodness. Yeah, you told me that on Saturday, you were going to have like a training to learn how to use the system. Yes. Um, we had a lot of problems with the new system. Okay, and Ayansi, she says that she has problems with the audio. Maybe, uh, let's see, and Ayansi, maybe you can go out and enter to the meeting again. Maybe that, that can fix the problem. Tal vez eso le puede ayudar. Ana Yancy, si, si puede, salga de la reunión y vuelva a entrar. Tal vez ese es el audio de, de su Zoom, el que nos está fallando. Okay. So, eh, Catherine, how was your day? I'm fine. It's okay. I'm I can... fine. Fine. Very good. It was fine. Heidi, how was your day? Fine teacher. It was fine. Very good. Yes, Ana, Rom Ana Romero, how was your day? My day was okay. It was okay, right? It was okay. Yeah, it was okay. Regina, how was your day? Fine. And you? It was very good. It was uh, difficult, stressful, but good. I got a, vac a vaccine today for oh, COVID. Really? Yeah, the oh, third the one. Dosage? The third one. Wow, that's amazing. Yeah, and I am here. Yeah. Uh, I, uh, how I, do you feel? Fine. I feel completely fine. Nothing, oh, really? nothing happened. Yeah, I was very worried, but no. <laughs> I can yeah. move and I feel fine. So go ahead and get it. Así que los invito the, the, the RH? Nothing. Oh. I feel completely fine. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, it, it I was worried because of it because of the type of vaccine. But no. Mm. I was like Was that a Pfizer? No, no, it was like AstraZeneca. Oh, the Chinese? <laughs> yes. And they say it's very <laughs> dangerous. Yeah, <laughs> the, the third one, yes. Wow. Wow. Yeah, and I am here. I am doing great. <laughs> I feel even better than before. <laughs> so I think it, it's good. Well, okay. so I, I motivate you to go and, and get it, right? Sí, lo, los invito a que sí vayan y se la pongan. No pasa nada. Yeah. I, am, I am here. Coming soon, the third. 
coming soon, the third one. Yeah, it's open for everybody now. No, no one is paying me for this commercial. Okay, este comercial nadie me lo está pagando. Así que, go and get the vaccine. Well, today we are going to study the imperatives, right? We're going to study the imperatives. And I know that maybe you have heard about imperatives before. Let me see. Ana Yancy, ¿se le arregló el problema del audio? Sí, teacher, ahorita. Es que creo que no tengo mucho internet, entonces... Oh. Uh -huh. Ajá. Yeah, si sí, apago la, eh, de repente voy a apagar el, el video para, para no tener interrupción. Don't worry, don't worry. Mande a todos ahí que apaguen todos los otros redes sociales, movies, series, everything. I'm Nancy. in class, you have to say. Yeah, I am in class, you say. <laughs> Turn it off. <laughs> Good. So we're going to study imperatives, right? Imperatives are kind of instructions, kind of guides that you give to people, but with no subject. Okay, los imperativos son frases que utilizamos para dar órdenes o guías a las personas. Muchas de estas no llevan sujeto, así que no decimos, you turn off the TV. No, right, you say like, turn off the TV. Make sure that you turn off the TV, right? Though they are like kind of orders, but we're going to study that later on. Remember the agreements of our class, right? Um, Heidi, can you help me to read the agreements of our class? Thank you, sir. Practice your English as much as possible, as for help when needed. Mm -hmm. Keep your cameras on all the time. Yes. Attending all your se session or time. Particip participate, participate as much uh -huh. participate as much as possible. Keep a cooperative attitude during class. Col collaborate with your friends and the WhatsApp group. Excellent. Thank you very much, Heidi. Remember, all the agreements are for the benefit of everybody in the class and for us to learn together. Right. Yesterday, I assigned a homework for the free conversation time. And for this homework, we had one, two, three, four, five, six questions. We had six questions, the ones that we have to answer and the ones that we were going to share the things or the points of view that we have about them. Right. The questions were the following. You have how do computers make your life easier? or more difficult? How do computers affect the way you spend your free time? How do computers influence the kinds of jobs people have? What kinds of problems do computers cause? Do you know anyone who is a computer whiz? And are hackers a problem where you live? Okay, in order to develop this discussion, I have right now eight participants. We're going to do it uh, as a group, right? We're going to do it as a group and we're going to discuss together. I need all of you to give me your points of view. Todos ustedes van a compartir sus puntos de vista acerca de las diferentes preguntas, okay? Because that's the idea for you to practice. That's why it's called free conversation time, right? Because you need to practice your English. How do computers make your life easier or more difficult? We're going to discuss the first question. Okay, nos vamos a enfocar ahorita en la primera pregunta. How do computers make your life easier or more difficult? I open the microphone for everybody who wants to give his or her point of view. Okay, el micrófono queda abierto para el que quiera dar su opinión. Go ahead. Well, I think it's, uh, it's easier. Uh -huh. Because, uh, for example, in my case, uh -huh. uh, the computer allowed me to pay bills from my house mm -hmm. and avoiding queues. How do you say fila colas? Ah, lines. 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 I search the the, the, the work. I I I find queues. What do you say? Queues. Yes. Q well. Q, U, okay, I, I'm going to, to look for it. But in this case, it's like to avoid lines, lines in the bank, likes in the 
uh, at the at the places, right? Oh, okay. For that so, reason, I think is 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 easier. Okay, so they make your life easier because you do the things on your computer. Yes. Okay, very good. What is another option that you have? Can you send the word on the chat, please, so we can analyze it? Sorry? Okay, Marlon, send the word that you mentioned on the chat so we can all have it. Así todos la podemos tener. La palabra que investigó la puede enviar al chat, así la comparte con todos. Okay. Perfect. Julio, what is your opinion? How do computers make your life easier or more difficult? I, I think to use a, a computer and their application have a positive impact in, in our life uh, because make, make um, life easier uh, comparative than the past. Uh, for example, in my case, uh, I, I use it for draw uh, in AutoCAD, uh -huh. uh, a, a, a plant in, in that I work, and in, in, in it's much easier to to make uh, some modification in the in the in the in the building of the plant. For example, okay. in my uh -huh. case, it, it's more easier. It's easier, right? It makes your life easier because you plan and do and draw everything on the computer. So yeah, you don't have to use paper anymore, right? To make the drawings or everything yeah. direct on the computer. <coughs> very good job. Thank you very much. Uh, let's see, who else wants to share? How do computers make your life easier or more difficult? Hello, hello. Uh, okay. good evening. Good evening, Ismael. Yeah, in, in my case, it says, uh, the question says, how do computers make your life easier? So in my case, and they make my life easier because I work using a computer. So if I, ha if I don't have a computer, so probably I'm going to be doing something totally different. And so, but now I am working from home. So the computer is everything for me. Yes. Yeah, well, that makes two of us, right? Because me as a teacher, I mean, it makes my life in some cases more difficult, right? For me as a teacher, it makes my life more difficult because uh, I really love to have the, I mean, sorry, sorry about my dog, to have people in the place, right? To have students present because you understand more, you participate and interact and everything. But the computer has given me the option to discover other strategies for teaching, right? Technology, mm -hmm. Zoom, presentations, videos, many other things. So it has pros and cons, but it's good, Ismael. It's like, if I don't have a computer, I don't have a job, <laughs> and it's true. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Very good. So Milton, how do computers make your life easier or more difficult? Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Uh, uh, I think at the beginning I didn't like it, but now it's very, very important in my life and my work is necessary. Uh, it's good for me for, for the program. Someone program are difficult sometimes, but uh, Normally or generally is very, very easy. Okay, it's easier. Very good. Excellent. Thank you, Milton, for sharing. Let's see who else wants to share. <laughs> Catherine, Diomesis, Heidi. Hi, teacher. Hi, hi, hi Catherine. Hey. First, Catherine, and then Heidi. Go ahead. <laughs> Marlon pone atención. Come on. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> so, like, <laughs> Catherine, go ahead. Sorry. Okay. How do computer makes your life easy? Easier. Some helps heal don't faster. Uh -huh. So, 
Uh -huh. in, in, in what, in what more form? More difficult. Uh -huh. So for you, Catherine, more it is difficult. it is more difficult. Las computadoras la han venido a beneficiar mm -hmm. o a complicar. Some information. Uh -huh. Continue, continue. Mm. Yeah. Uh, benefits. Because some uh -huh. homes uh -huh. shut down faster. Uh -huh. Benefits because some homes shut down faster. Okay, some uh, things are done faster on the computer. Okay, algunas cosas se hacen de manera más rápida. Some things are done faster on the computer. Yeah, indeed. Because imagine if, if you need to pay something in the bank, you have to go to the bank, you have to make the line, you have to wait for people, you have to wait for attendance, you have to wait for a person to come, you have to give the money, sign and do the papers and everything. And on the computer, it's like click, 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 done. So it makes your life easier. So thank you, Kat. Some things are easier, she says. Heidi. What's your opinion? Hey, in my case, teacher, the computer is my life is the easy. Uh -huh. And the uh, uh, work and the, the program Excel, Word, is in the, the fast, fast to worry. It's, it's faster, uh, right? Yes, fast. and the information. Definitely. Yes. Right, definitely. You find information right away on the computer. Very good. Thank you very much. Mr. Miguel, how do computers make your life easier or more difficult? Um, easy, teacher. Uh -huh. How? Um, it's more practical for me because I have a question and I look for it on the internet and my computer. Uh, reading information is more faster. It's faster, right? Reading information is faster. Very good. Someone else who wants to give opinion about this first question? If not, we're going to go to the second questions. How do computers affect, how do computers affect the way you spend your free time? How do computers affect the way you spend your free time? How do you think? And I need, I am going to leave it open for opinions. Uh -huh. Teacher, yes. In my case, is the computer uh, uh, cansada, the tired and work. <laughs> the computer in my free times uh -huh. never. <laughs> You never have free time, so <laughs> the poor computer is like, yeah, pague me, please. <laughs> yes, teacher. <laughs> okay, yeah, the same happens to my computer, right? <laughs> it's like, no, Nati, please, no more. <laughs> Thank you. Miguel, tell me. I uh, does not really affect my free time because when I leave my work, I disconnect, I disconnect the computer. Uh-huh. It's it, no effect. It doesn't affect your free time. So you finish yes. working and bye bye computer. Yes. Okay. Very good. Yes. It, it's good, right? Any other opinion? Hello. Um, yes. Oh. Okay. Ismael and then Julio. Go ahead. And then Regina. Uh, in my case, uh, it says how the computers affect your, the way you spend your free time. In in my case. It doesn't affect my free time because I work uh, the, the whole day using a computer. So and then when I finish my shift, I don't want to see a computer anymore. <laughs> so I just turn it off and, and that's it. And now I am using the computer, but this is my personal computer, but it's only to take the class. Okay. Then I'm going to turn it off and, and that's it. And that's it, right? But it's good. And, and you use it? 
to do something different. I mean, if you use the computer to continue working in a second job, that's complicated. But if you use it for learning, if you use it for um, your personal improvement, then that's benefit. Mr. Julio and then Regina. This, this day, uh, the people spend a lot of their free time in, in the internet, surfing, and the web page, uh, online games, on all that kind of things. Personally, I try to use the computer only for work and study. In in my my free time, I try to I try to do another thing. <laughs> you try it, to it, do it. you try to disconnect from yeah. technology. Yeah, I mean, uh, I it is complicated when you have the family together, and all the family is on the phone or on the computer. Yeah. And then you are like, come on! I always say to my family, yo siempre les digo, ya le voy a hacer un grupo y ahí platican todo. <laughs> because they are all of them on the phone. And, and so that's that's one rule that we have here in the house that in the when we are on the table, yeah. no cell phones. So, and that's a rule. And we need to respect it. Like, ni en la mesa ni en la sala. No cell phones. That's a good point. Yes, and it's a very good rule adopted. <laughs> Regina, uh, what is what is your opinion? Thank you, Julio. Okay. Um, eh, bueno, el, uh, la computer eh, made my job easier. Mm -hmm. Is uh, it is my work tool. Mm -hmm. uh, more difficult uh, when is do you say desconfigura? <laughs> when it's broken you say when it's broken okay okay uh -huh. um, a, techni 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 a, te a technician uh -huh. a technician has to completely repair it but uh, do um, i can listen to music i can watch movies I can I can see my social network. Uh -huh. I can use karaoke. Uh, yeah, <laughs> definitely. So it makes your life easier, and for sure, it helps you to enjoy your free time. Thank you very much, Anayansi. Tell me, Anayansi. Hello. Uh, number two. Uh -huh. Number two. Number two. Yes, yes. Tell me. Uh, how do I do things that are not necessary? Okay. Uh, there are many things on the computer that are not necessary. Indeed. If you have free time and you start like, I am going to check Facebook and that's not really necessary. It, it is what Julio was explaining, right? That you start like spending time just because and you, yes. never, you never disconnect from, from social media. Uh, Ismael was explaining number three, how do computers influence the kinds of job people have? Now, when the, with the pandemic, all the jobs turn into the virtual area. Even the jobs that you never imagined that were going to be virtual, now they are virtual. Let's see, Miguel, what is the job that you do in the computer? What is your job? Uh, I am a uh, special payment. It's a finance. Oh, you are you are in finance, right? You are a, yes. a payment specialist. Yes. Cool. Imagine all these things that you do in the computer. I imagine that you have a lot of Excel and a lot of things, a lot of forms and things. Good. Julio, what is the job that you do in the computer? I use the computer for draw in AutoCAD. For drawing. Uh, uh, drawing, sorry. Okay. Uh, uh -huh. Some reports in Excel, uh, some uh, sys online systems. Uh, okay. For uh, uh, from the the enterprise. 
Okay, Mr. Marlon. Hello, I don't use the computer anymore. You don't I use have your... a... uh -huh. No, I, a cell phone. Yeah, the new program is in my cell phone. Oh, okay, but it's it's in technology yeah. as well. Okay, very yes, good. but it's different. I use the computer only when I have free time to watch movies. I lot of <laughs> uh, a lot of how do you say bastante tiempo. A, I lot, spend of a lot of time watching movies. Yeah, watching movies in my computer because I have a TV in my room, but it's not a smart TV. Oh, uh, okay. So I I watch TV in the computer. Yeah, yes. I like it. <laughs> very good, very good. So Ismael, for sure, I know how you how do you use your computer for work, right? But uh, it is is it combined with the phone call or you answer on the computer? Um, I actually I am in the area I work emails, so oh, most okay. of the time is emails. It's, yeah, it's I usually take, I usually take around let's say. Um, five or from five to ten calls a day and oh, okay. I am always replying emails so emails okay. emails I imagine I imagine Mr. Milton how do you use your computer for uh, teacher I use my computer my computer only my work because uh, how do you say seguimiento for the follow-up for the follow in uh, a program a production program okay and and then i have the, the same email 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 uh -huh. email in then only in my work ah okay uh, yeah, in my house i don't have any uh, computer okay only only my work is good okay very good michelle how do you use your computer at your work Uh, I use it for doing the, um, how do you say, planilla? Uh, the payroll. Payroll. Like the payroll. Okay, you, you, you do the payroll on the computer. Thank you. Alfredo, how do you use your computer for the work? Hi, teacher. Good evening. Um, I use my computer in the work. Um, I check in email and prepare a report okay. and tomorrow and oh, solamente this. only that you say and only that okay only that. Only very that. good only very good that. let's see what kinds of problems and this is in general what kinds of problems do computers cause what kinds of problems do computers cause Can you I mention think, I, in general? I think in, in, in some cases, when the use is for a long time, uh, ergonomics problem. Yes, because you don't sit properly, right? You are always like this. Right? You have to sit properly, right? Ergonomics, <laughs> everybody's sitting properly. It's like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was for everybody. <laughs> ergonomic <laughs> problems. Good, very good. So, what other problems do computers cause? Thank you. I have to wear glasses. Ha, you have to wear glasses now that you are on the computer all the time. Yeah, yo también, pero no me los pongo. <laughs> <laughs> so, you have to wear glasses. You have to wear glasses when you are on the computer. Good. What other problems do computers cause? Um, I have words from the constant user of the mouse. Aha, oh, the, the Carpian tunnel, right? Because of the use yes. of the mouse. Good, very good. That's another thing. In some cases, they cause also addiction because you are addicted to a game, you are addicted to computers, you are addicted to social media, and then you are constantly checking and checking and checking the things on the computer. Uh, I do that, but on the cell phone. 
well, uh -huh, I was going to, to migrate the question to the cell phones. <laughs> and it also causes addiction and it's a big problem, mostly on teenagers, right? And nowadays in everybody uh, uh, around, because now teenagers, adults, everybody is addicted to the social media, right? I have a friend that sings seven in the morning until 10 at night, it's on uh, TikTok. And it's just checking videos, 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 videos. And it's like, come on, uh, you saw that video so many times and they, they just continue checking and checking and checking. And that's addiction, right? Good. Do you know anybody? Do you know anybody who is a computer whiz or someone who is very good on computers? Or is there someone in your family that it's a very good person in computers? No? Uh, yes, where I work, there are many. Oh, good. There are many there in the place where you work. Fantastic. Yes, I don't know, but my brother is uh, a, a system engineering. Oh, they are very good. And they say like, yeah. Yeah, let me do this and this and this. And they just fix it right away. And then you are like, no, pero si le di click, nothing, right? But it's like, they just fix it right away. They, they use, they use the, la vieja confiable, turn it off. Let's restart. Off. Reset, reset. <laughs> reset, reset the computer. The computer. Restart the computer. <laughs> I have the solution. Click, reset. you turn it off. <laughs> reset. Yes, and... Uh, the problem with hackers. Do you know about any problem with hackers in the country? I uh, think you were saying something about that yesterday. Uh -huh. uh, I don't know. I was checking on Facebook. Many people were saying that Banco Agricola yes. it was yeah. hacked and we many people that. lost their money. Yes, they say that they were receiving a... I, I was not I was not affected. <laughs> it it was with you. Either. Oh my goodness. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that they were receiving emails saying that there were some problems and click here and here and here and they were stealing your information. So that happened also with the Bitcoin wallet that they were trying to steal money from people. So it's like, come on, right? People even steal the Facebook passwords in order to send viruses to many other people. So you have to be very careful with your internet password, with the internet in your house, with the configuration of the modem, the, the password of the modem. You have to be careful with all these details because people are constantly looking uh, for a way to steal information, okay? Now, if you give your credit card information, you have to be very careful with that because if not, they can take your money away. So thank you very much for this free conversation time that we had. Here I have a very short example about the topic that we have been studying. And it says, can I borrow, can I borrow, like, me puedo tomarlo, puedo prestarte? Can I borrow your, your phone your to call, phone my, to boss? call my boss? I can't believe you still don't have a cell phone. Here you go. Thanks. Now, what I need to do? First of all, be sure to turn it on. And don't forget to dial pick, 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 the area code. Oh, I can see the number, but I can't hear anything. That's because you haven't pressed the call button. Oh, good. It's ringing. Try not to get too excited. You will probably get his voice mail. You're right, it's a recording. Make sure you hit the end button or else you will leave all conversation on his voice mail. Have you ever had the experience of explaining someone how to do something? ¿Han tenido alguna vez la experiencia de explicarle a alguien cómo usar algo? That it was totally new. Yes, when my, when my mom uh, first got a, a smartphone. <laughs> And it's like, where, where do I have the WhatsApp? How, how do I use it? And then you have to go one by one, explaining the steps, right? Or when, when they put it on airplane mode. 
and they are not able to call and then <laughs> it's not working eh? it's like mom it's on airplane ah that's why and they yeah. don't even know what airplane mode is <laughs> So that it's even worse. <laughs> okay, anyone else who has had the situation of explaining someone a process for the first time? ¿Quién más ha explicado un proceso por primera vez a alguien? My grandson teach me. <laughs> oh, really? Really? <laughs> what, what did you learn? ¿Qué le enseñó? <laughs> Por ejemplo, como a veces como bajar algunos programas, entonces él me enseña a mí o la niña de, de qué, seis años. Oh my goodness. A veces goodness. para bajar emoticones para el WhatsApp. Aquí están, abuela, me dice y ella me lo paga. <laughs> so you see, and it's a process, right? It's a mm -hmm. process. Okay, imagine that I don't have, I don't have a Facebook, and I want to open a social network account. What is the first thing that I need to do? What is the first thing that I need to do? Okay, I say, students, I don't have a social media on the blue social media FB, Facebook, and I want one. What should I do? Que lo primero que tengo que hacer. What first, is the first thing? You, you need an email account? Uh -huh. I have it. I have an email account. Okay. Uh, so we have to download the application in your cell phone or in your computer? Uh -huh. and, and where do I look for the application? It's on my phone. Uh, yeah, depend of uh, your system. Uh -huh. But where, where do I have to open it? Uh -huh. No tengo nada, me van a enseñar de cero. Uh -huh. uh, where do I have to open it? I don't have anything. Do I have to go here on the on the configuración? No, where? No, no. Your cell phone is Android or is... It's an, it's an Android. I am poor, don't okay, worry. Okay, <laughs> first of all, go to the Play Store. Ah, okay, okay I sure. open it. Okay, I open it. Uh -huh. Open the Play Store and you Search look for, for Facebook. Uh, Facebook. Facebook okay. Click, 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 click. Aha. Oh, it's here. It says light, normal, the normal. Aha. Click. Aha. It's downloading. I have it. Aha. Okay. Wait, wait to don't, uh, for downloading the app. Let's wait. Dun, 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 dun. Okay. I have it. Ding. Aha. Your cell phone is very fast. <laughs> <laughs> My internet is very fast. Okay. I have it. Aha. And then what should I do? Open it. Uh -huh, I have it open. Bling. Uh, click on sign up. Sign I up. Uh -huh. sign, sign up. up. Sign Register. Up. Uh -huh. uh, introduce the information. Click, 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 click. Uh -huh. uh, I don't remember. <laughs> okay, I introduced the information. Click, click, click. Uh -huh. It says name, email, phone. Email, uh -huh. your cell phone number. Okay, good. I have my account, but I don't have a picture. I don't have a profile picture. Okay, so find your cell phone for uh -huh. a picture. Ta -da. Oh, I got it. Okay, I have one of these ones. It says... Uh, one piolin says it says good morning. <laughs> I have a piolin that says feliz I will put that one. Okay, so okay. that is the process, right? On explaining a person. What was the problem in the conversation? What was the lady explaining the boy? How to do a, a, a... how to make what? How to make a how to make, make a, a call. call. What was the first process? The other number. Mm. You know? What was the first process? First of all. Turn off the cell. Turn on the cell phone, right? Be sure to turn it on. If the cell phone is off, we are not going to be able to make a call. First, be sure to turn it on. And then. 
Dial the area code. Dial the area code. Good. Number three. Mm. What is the, the other number. process? Press, ah. the, press the call button. Press the call button. Press the call button. And then, uh, what is the last process that you have to do in this one? In end button. Press end button. Press the end button, right? Hit the end button. Hit is like click, right? Hit the end button or else you're going to get a boils mail. Good, very good. So that's a process, right? The first person says, Jenny, uh, it was like for Jenny, can I borrow your phone to call my boss? Right, can I borrow your phone to call my boss? What is the meaning of borrow? Me podría prestar, te podría prestar. Right? Me podrías prestar tu teléfono to call my boss? It's like pedir prestado. Yes, exactly. Borrow, pero borrow es como dámelo un ratito, right? Can I borrow? And it says, I can't believe you still don't have a phone. Here you go. Here you go is toma, right? Thanks. Now, what do I need to do? First of all, you say, that's a process. First of all, be sure to turn it on and don't forget to dial the area code. Okay, I can see the number, but I can't hear anything. I can't hear anything. That's because you haven't pressed the call button. Oh, good, it's ringing, right? Try not to get too excited. You will probably get his voicemail. You're right, it's a recording, she says. Make sure you hit the end button or else you will leave all our conversation on his voicemail. Okay, everybody, you are Richard and I am Jenny. Can I borrow your phone to call my boss? I can't believe I you, can't still, believe don't you still don't have a cell phone. A cell phone. Oh. phone you. Here you go. Thanks. Now, what do I need to do? First of all, be sure to turn it on. Don't forget to dial the R code. Okay, yeah. I can see the number, but I can't hear anything. That's, That's because you have a call button. 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 button, right, button. Oh, button. good, yeah. it's ringing. Try right, not to get, get the 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 problem. Problem. Probably it's his voice email. email. Okay, probably, Maybe. probably. Probably. Oh, you're right, it's a recording. May choose make sure to hit the end button or else you will leave conversation on his voicemail. Excellent job. Very good job, my dear students. Is it clear all the vocabulary that we have in this conversation? Or is there any word that yes. you don't know? Alguna palabra nueva? No, nothing. So we can move forward. Uh -huh. hit, hit for click. That's hit, a, hit, right? Hit Make sure click. you hit. Hit is like to touch. Hit the no, end no, button. I, I use a press. Press. Uh -huh. press. It's the same, right? Press or hit. It's the same. Any other one? Three, two, one. So Oops. let's. Which one? Which one? Button. The button, it's the ones that you get on the... Which one? I can no, no te alcanzo a escuchar, se corta. On the, your phone to get my... Ah, boss. It's a B-O-S-S. -S. Ah, boss. En la primera línea. Boss is jefe. Can I borrow your cell phone to call my boss? My boss is mi jefe. Imagine here you can have to call my mom, to call my sister, to call my husband. But in this case, to call my boss. Boss is jefe. Any other one? Three, two, one. Mm. Okay. Here, 
Here you have imperatives and infinitives for giving suggestions. The ones that we have on the computer, right? Be sure to turn it on. Don't forget to dial the area code. Make sure you hit the end button. Remember to pay the pill every month. Try not to talk for too long, right? In these cases, the imperatives don't have a subject, right? Si usamos los imperativos, tenemos que recordar que frases como estas no llevan sujeto al principio. You don't have to say, you, me, you be sure to turn it on, right? Uh, please, uh, Marvin, be sure to turn it on. No, you say, be sure to turn it on. Don't forget to dial. Make sure to hit the end button, right? Porque estamos dándole, en, en alguna manera, órdenes o lineamientos mm -hmm. de cómo hacer las cosas. Cuando me dijeron cómo hacer la aplicación de Facebook, like, open the account, put the email, write your name, put the picture, upload this, look on your phone, right? You only give me the orders or the verbs, right? You don't use specific words at the beginning, right? These are when you are giving suggestions, okay? When you are giving suggestions. And here I have one example. We have. Can you back to the. For sure. Go ahead. Thank you. Okay. You give uh, the imperatives or the infinitives to give suggestions. And you use it like this. Be sure to turn it on. You have the imperative word, the infinitive, and the complement. Don't forget the uh, you have here infinitive. Make sure to hit. You have another infinitive. Remember to pay the bill every month, okay? Try Thank not you. to talk for too long. When you say, in this case you say, try don't, no, try not to. Si ocupamos don't, es al de, at the beginning, right? Don't forget. Pero si la negación va después del verbo, try not to talk for too long. And here we have some other examples. Make sure to turn it on. Remember to write down important numbers. Try not to eat near the computer. Don't forget to disconnect the charger, right? Those are also uh, ways that you give suggestions, okay? Right now, for example, because of the pandemic, don't forget to wear your mask. Don't forget to use alcohol. Don't forget to wash your hands. Right? Those are suggestions that you give uh, right now in order to survive the pandemic. Right? If you enter the class, don't forget to put your camera. Make sure that you participate. Right? Try to practice your English. Those are suggestions that I give you in the class. But we're going to take this into the practice. And here I have examples for three things for an alarm system for a computer and for a cell phone okay alarm system is as computer it's lc laptop computer and for oh, cell phone cp cell phone which one or which suggestion cuál de las eh, sugerencias creen que es para cada cosa this is an alarm system this is a very old cell phone. It's a very old example. And this is a computer, a laptop computer, right? And it says, try to keep it close to protect the screen. Para qué objeto creen que es esta sugerencia? Try to keep it close to protect the screen. Laptop LP. computer. The laptop computer, right? LC. LC. Don't forget to write down your secret code. For the alarm system. For the alarm system and also now for the cell phone. Now for the cell phone, right? For the ZP. Remember to turn it off as soon as you come in the door. Alarm system. Alarm system. The alarm system. The alarm system. What happens if you don't turn it off? Beep, 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 beep. <laughs> the whole neighborhood is going to be there. Remember to turn it off as soon as you come in the door. Try not to get it wet or the keys may get stuck. 
The laptop. Laptop. The laptop, yeah. right? The laptop. Because if you ruin something, it's going to die. Make sure to see it each time you leave home. Make sure. Exactly. Make sure you see it each time you leave home. You have to check on your alarm system. Remember to recharge the batteries before they die. PP. The cell phone and the laptop. The cell phone. cell phone and the laptop, right? Because if the laptop, you don't connect it with, to the charger, it's going to turn off and bye-bye. Be sure to turn it off before bed or a call may wake you up. The cell phone. The cell phone. Right, and now with the notifications on the cell phone, maybe you are sleeping there in the middle of the night and bzz, 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 bzz. that's yes. why. <laughs> but that's in why. It, uh -huh. <laughs> sorry, the cell phones, they have a, um, an option that is uh, do not disturb. Disturb. Do not disturb, right. And you can set the time on which you want to receive messages. So be sure that you activate the option. So we can change this type of suggestions, adding words like the ones that I have here, right? In this case, we have, for example, you can say, uh, what other recommendation can you do for the cell phone? What other recommendations can we add? What other suggestions can we add for the cell phone? It, it can be, can it be any suggestion? Yeah, any suggestion. Um, okay, uh, make sure you use a case. Make sure you use a case. Protect the cell phone. Okay, make sure to use a case to protect the cell phone, good. What other suggestion? Uh -huh. Teacher, teacher, um, no share, share all night. Uh -huh. all night. Very good. In this case, is try not to charge it all night. Try not to charge it all night because if not, the battery is going to get used to this process. Very good suggestion. Thank Very you, good. Very good. Excellent. Any other suggestion for the phone? Or for the computer? The cell the so, uh -huh. is your data. Exactly, right? You have to be careful with your, with your data because yeah. for sure it can be everywhere, right? And you also have to be careful with the internet. Make sure uh, to activate the Wi-Fi when you enter to your house, because if not, you are going to spend the internet or of your phone on a movie or on series or something. And then you say like, oh no, my internet, <laughs> it died. Yes? Dry, not the, the glass, glass water. And yes. here the, the cell phone and the laptop. Yeah, try not to have glasses of water near the cell phone or near the laptop because they are very dangerous. Or cups of coffee, right? Yes, you have to, well, try not to eat near the computer. Very good. I got another one. Uh huh. Uh, try not to use the cell phone when it's charging. Try not to use the cell phone when it's charging. That's a very good suggestion. Very nice. Because if not, it can be dangerous, right? It might explode. <laughs> yeah, we never know. Mr. Julio, any suggestion? Uh, remember to pay the bill for your cell phone? <laughs> remember to pay <laughs> the bills, right? If not, you are not going to say like, why I am running out of internet? I, I didn't pay. Yeah, I remember. <laughs> pay, pay the bills, right? Very good. So I need you please to give some recommendations.
to visitors traveling to El Salvador. We are going to give suggestions in another way, right? And remember that we can use words like make sure, be sure not to, try not to, remember to, don't forget to. Okay, those are the words that we are going to be using for visitors traveling to El Salvador. I am going to give you the first recommendation. Make sure, uh, make sure to try the pupusas. What other recommendations can you Remember give? Remember to visit the Tunco Beach. Remember to visit the Tunco Beach. Good. Other recommendations. What are other recommendations you can give to visitors traveling to El Salvador? Try to um, and try not. I'm sorry, I got confused. <laughs> uh, no, I'm gonna change it. Make sure. Um, you don't go to Soya Prango. <laughs> get, get lost. Okay, make sure. Uh, not to get lost okay make sure you don't get lost for sure okay or make, make sure make, make sure I live in soya pango. <laughs> hey, <come on. laughs> it's like, what's happening i live in soya pango. <laughs> no no I, i'm sorry i i, I didn't want to uh, say anything bad about soya pango, but now soya pango is is a good place it, it was it was an example <laughs> it was an example okay take it easy take it easy <laughs> so when you live in soya pango, who marlon who lives in Soyapango? In flowers, colonial flowers. <laughs> the ah, flowers. Okay, so but you see, it, well, yeah. I think El Salvador in general, you have to be careful, right? Make sure you uh, make sure to be a company if you travel to any place in El Salvador, right? That's true. It's good, right? Try not to use the cell phone on the coasters. <laughs> I work like salesman. I am busy different place. And it's very dangerous. Yes, I mean, I, I think every country, it's dangerous. If you go to France, if you go to Italy, if you go to the United States, if you if you don't know, and if you are doing incorrect things on the street, imagine that you are very distracted using the phone on the street. For sure, something bad can happen. If it's not for the robbers, it's for an accident, right? <laughs> so you have to be true. very careful. Uh, remember to visit touristical places, good. Uh, don't forget to have a camera with you. Try not to eat food from the street. Those are good recommendations that you can give to visitors. Food of the street is good. Yeah, but you have to be very careful where you buy it, if it is clean or not, right? You have to make sure that you know the place, right? Because imagine if you go there to, I don't know, to buy some elote loco there and you see the place that it's kind of dirty. Mm, yeah, you have to be very careful. No, in that case, no. <laughs> so no, you have but, to... Uh -huh. But yes, uh, the the I, I don't know is street food. I don't know if this is the right way. Yeah, to that's say it. the yeah, that's street food. Yeah, it's good. For example, um, the tortas. Yeah, the hot dogs, the tortas, the, the Mexican tortas, dogs. the tacos. They are very good. So, but if the place is clean, make sure that you are eating in the correct place. Well. Just in these final minutes that we have for the class, I am going to take you and travel a little bit on the platform just to make sure that we are advancing in the correct way. Okay, my dear students, I am showing you the platform right now. And so far, so good. You should have advanced uh, sections one and two and also a little bit on section three, okay? In this case, I hope you have finished the evaluations. Creo que hayan terminado las evaluaciones al menos de la sección 1, 2 y casi la 3. Yes or no? Yes, the yes. first one and the second. 
Okay, so any problem that you have had? Yes, uh, I yes. have a problem in the third. Uh -huh. In the car in the carnival. Ah, okay. Yes, I am going to... the carnival. Yes. Yes, yes. me too, teacher. <laughs> okay, good, carnival. good. Yeah, sure. <laughs> it's like in the carnival, teacher. Everybody is in the carnival. I am yeah. going to I am going to go back here. Okay, here I go. Okay, here, 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 here I go. Okay, in the let's celebrate. Yeah. And in the in this case, the problem is in the audio, but it's not a problem of the platform. It's a problem to actually listen carefully to the details. And in some cases, it's kind of complicated, right? There you go. It's trying to open it. Don't worry. Okay. Yeah, take your time. Don't worry. Don't worry. Teacher, <laughs> what's the minimum score that we need to pass? I was not able to get the 100. It's 80, 80%. 80. 80? Yes, 80% it's the lowest that you can have. Okay, no, no se la quite, mi amor. It's a gay. Okay. <laughs> no, but no, igual no se la quite. <laughs> okay, let's see. It's opening. I know which one you're talking about. I know which exercise you're talking about. And I answer a couple of questions. Hoy en la tarde estuve contestando unas cuantas preguntas. Creo que fue con... For, for, the, for the sample in the second question, uh -huh. uh, it's about uh, the, how long does it last? Uh -huh. uh, I think it's four days. But it, it mentions but, but... a specific period of time uh, from it says from and it gives you the month and it gives you another month the, to finish teacher the problem yes. is that it doesn't accept i don't know if it is coded to get capital letters or lower cases or commas or or dots yeah or i know uh -huh. or periods because i hear i heard the, the audio many times and I was trying to put exactly what he said on the audio, but at the end, he didn't accept my, my answers. And I tried to change them and it didn't work. Okay. It gave me a, like a zero or something like that. Okay. What is a carnival and what did you write? I don't remember being honest. Okay. So um, did I? I put some. He, 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 in, in the audio, he, he does, he, the, the guy is speaking, he doesn't say exactly what is car carnival. Okay, so. He doesn't say that. He doesn't mention it. Okay, no. so I he, am he doesn't going. Give, I'm sorry, he doesn't give a specific answer. Okay. He, he only explains about it, but it doesn't say what, it's about. what exactly it is. Uh -huh. Okay, good. So in this case, I have here. Uh, let me see and just before I go because I, I need to go in the to the next class but uh, in general for you what is a carnival it's a party right it it's is a, a party, party. It's a big party. It's a party and that's what you have to write what is a carnival it is a party right <laughs> I put it's a party but it didn't accept it uh -huh. okay maybe you wrote it incorrect because the only thing that you have to write yeah. here it it is uh -huh. a party and imagine Ooh. let's let's click on submit and it doesn't accept it. I give an error. Okay, it's maybe in party. the in the con contracting form. Okay, let, let's check. Okay, you see it's a oh, period. Yeah, you, the, oh, yeah, that's okay. what I said. It has it, a oh, period. It is a period, it's a, just a period, right? You have to oh. mark it like that. It is a party, yeah. and then you say, How long does it last? I think it is four days. February four days. to March? Four, oh, days four days or from February to March, right? Uh -huh. Four days. Four days. And you enter the answer, right? It's Teacher, it's necessary, necessary the point. Yes, it is necessary because, I mean, you are submitting the the, oh, the answers. Right? It is like, okay. when is it? Is it a problem? Mm. Okay. I got a zero on that one. So you say here you have late February and to early March. 
early March. Late February or early March. I think that's the answer here. And I think you need a period. Let's click here and submit. Oh, so I made a mistake here. Mm. It's like favorite. I think it's just one of the two answers. Yeah, it's only one of the two. Early two. two. It's late February. Late right? two, too late, Mike. Uh, too late. Too late. Too late March. March. Period. Okay. Mm. I am going to go to the next class, but for sure. Uh, this is one of the things that I wanted to clarify. And for sure, the last one is, uh, ah, I didn't accept me there. Too late March, period. And here, uh, what is the Samba? It's a dance. It is a dance. Right? It is That's, a dance. It is a yeah. dance. Okay. Yeah. I am going to change that one because I didn't write it correctly, but I am going to uh, send you the details for this type because many of you were asking me about this. Okay. So, yeah. my dear students, I'm going to go right now because I have another class and uh, I am going to continue answering your questions on the chat. Okay. Have a beautiful okay. night. And I'm going to see you tomorrow. Thank you. Good night. Thank you. Good night. Thank you.